In this video, I want to do an AP Calc BC sample problem, and it goes, let R be the region bounded by the graphs of y equals the square root of x and y equals x over 2. First part of this problem says, find the area of R. That's easy. Just look at the graph, um, and we would use this formula, the integral from your limits of integration a to b and you have the top minus the bottom functions or the greater versus lesser functions and according to this graph the square root of x is on top and y uh, x over 2 is on bottom so just plug that in and your limits of integration which are the intersection points are 0 and 4 so you'd have the integral from the limits 0 to 4 of the square root of x minus x over 2 dx and you can rewrite this so it is 0 to 4 x to the 1 half minus 1 half x dx just so it's easier to integrate and if you did that you would get x to the 3 halves thirds of that minus one fourth x squared from zero to four. Put your limits of integration in, you would get two thirds four one to the one half power to the third power minus one fourth four squared. And this is just um, zero minus zero, so I won't write that. And if you simplify that, you get 2 thirds of 8 minus 4, which is 16 thirds minus 12 thirds, which is 4 thirds. And that is the answer to part A. The second part of the problem says the region R is the base of a solid. For the solid, the cross section is perpendicular to the x-axis, or squares, and find the volume of the solid. So if you go back to our um, graph, if it's perpendicular to the x-axis, those are just uh, vertical lines, basically. And the distance between two lines is their difference, which should be the square root of x minus x over 2. So basically, to start this problem, um, we know the area of a square, the area function is uh, s squared, and in this case, the side equals what I mentioned earlier, square root of x minus x over 2. To find the volume of the square, it's just the integral of the area function with respect to x, since it's... Um, uh, vertical cross sections. And if you put our function here, x squared, s squared, dx, we um, put all of our information from the limits 0 to 4 again. Um, we have the square root of x minus x squared, or x over 2 squared, dx. If you multiply this up, you'll get from 0 to 4, x squared over 4 minus x to the 3 halves plus x dx, which equals, and if we do the integral of that, we get x to the 3rd minus 12 minus 2x to the 5 halves power over 5 plus x squared over 2 from 0 to 1. And just plug that in, basically. 4 thirds, 12 minus 2 to 5 halves over 5 plus 4 squared over 2 and put in 0, it's just, it's just 0. And I won't try all the math here, but eventually you should get 8 over 15 as your final answer. And that would be volume of that solid. 
And the last part of this problem says write but do not evaluate an integral expression for the volume of the solid generated when R is rotated about the horizontal line Y equals 2. So just so we can visualize that, let's draw it out. That would look like let's see here. So this is two. Let's see, this is four. Point here, zero. And we have our rotation. Okay. Okay. So we have y uh, y equals two here. Our x is reflection, reflection. We have y equals x over two on the bottom here y equals x over 2 on the top here and y equals root x the bottom y equals root x is, um, on the top here on the bottom here and this is obviously going to be a wash problem if we take the uh, cross section like that we get so that's the bolded part the outside of this is the function uh, y equals x over 2, and the inner part of this is y equals the root of x. So that means our larger radius is x over 2 minus 2, since, again, the, dis the distance between two lines is their difference. 2 is the axis of rotation. Little r equals the inner thing is square root of x minus 2. And our washer function is high integral r squared, big r squared minus little r squared dx. And from here you just plug your information in 0 to 4 since it's respected to x again. x squared, or x over 2, minus 2 squared, minus square root of x, minus 2 squared dx. And since they just said write but do not evaluate the integral, we can stop right here.